so we're going to do an investigation tonight and see if we can get any evidence of the afterlife. exist. Welcome to Conjured Souls Paranormal. Tonight we have travelled really close to home. Uh, we're actually in South Yorkshire at a place called Wentworth Castle Gardens. Um, now I know it's called Wentworth Castle Gardens but it's not actually nowhere near Wentworth. The actual reason this castle is called Wentworth Castle Gardens is because the actual owner, um, the original owner from when it was first built was called Thomas, Thomas Wentworth. Um, obviously he's named the building there after himself. Um, this is basically a, a, a really big mansion which has a, like a gardens behind it and it has castles and stuff here um, and it dates back to the early 1700s. Um, so we're going to do an investigation tonight and see if we can get any evidence of the afterlife. There's been loads of reports here of different paranormal things going off and obviously with the history I think we're going to actually get something so I'm really excited and looking forward to tonight. How do you feel, Mark? Great excited. There's a few crevices and stuff like that for lone vigils and stuff. So we'll be doing a couple of lone vigils. Hopefully we'll get some evidence that validates afterlife on there. Really looking forward to it. Really psyched. You? Yeah, it should be a good night. Right, guys. We've entered the beginning of the castle. So what we've decided to do is get a vent pod out. We're going to set this off down here, see if we can get it to go off on command. Um, I have a K2 meter, and so does Matthew. I have a digital one. So obviously if the EMF signal changes and something comes into contact with this, it will go up, the numbers will go up, and then it'll turn red and start flashing, and it'll start making an alarm. Obviously with Ma Matthew's, this works by uh, LED, like, color. Yeah, LED colours and like a, a metre goes up, like obviously the higher it is, the more EMF. Green, orange and red I think. Yeah, uh, so what we've done, we've put the spawns on flight mode, so they can't be affected. And obviously, if something does change the temperature on this, um, that's pure ma manipulation by something with electromagnetic field. Right, so I'm going to set up the REM pod now. This is what it does when it starts up, it just needs to calibrate and it will go off. So what I'll do, I'll put it down here in the entrance. Right. If there's any spirits in this place with us right now, I want you to walk up to the device I've just placed on the floor. That was uh, the K2 meter going up by the way. Um, I want you to go up to the, play, the device near the door and touch it. Come on, come into contact with it. And it will light and alert us to your presence. Would you maybe come in contact with this in my hand? Walk up to it. EMF's not changing, but te temperature keeps on fluctuating on it, up and down. We're just going to knock on the walls. We have come here to prove that you do exist. And that, obviously, when your life ends on this earth, it isn't the end. 
And we said, we'll never know where it is, where you go, until it's our turn. But all we want to do is bring proof to the world that you are out there and there's nothing to worry about. Just give us something. Show yourself on the camera or speak into it if you can. So both of your meth meters are going off now. Mark's just heard a knock. If that was you, could you knock again, but a bit louder? Come on, just knock. That's all we ask. Yeah, it's somewhere I've got to do. I don't hear that one knock. Could you walk over to the wooden doors, please, and knock on the wooden door? We come with the greatest of respect. Just walk over to the wooden door and tap on it, please. Good, that would be absolutely fantastic. I've got a right eerie feeling, man. I don't feel right. It's the day go. This keeps going off. I feel all right, mate. No, it's like where I'm stood here. It feels like something behind me all the time. Like it went, obviously you were behind me, but it felt like someone were like slightly touching me. But yeah, should we snap some pictures in that door and see if we can get out? Yeah. yeah, I think we should just keep locating REM pod in different areas just in case somewhere is more active than. Obviously, Norway would have been an active place, but... If there is any spirits here, we're going to take some photographs within that doorway, where the gate is. Could you please walk over there, if you are here, and show yourself on those photographs? We'd really appreciate that. Just do it any way you can. In a way that you can manifest into the form of how you looked before. This is what is in my hand. I'm going to place it here next to this door. If you could, could you come into contact with that for us? All I have to do is walk near it. Could you go to that one in the doorway? All you need to do is go towards it, touch it like that and it will go off. Could you maybe whistle? Could you come, come into contact with one of us? Yeah, there's something down there. If that was you, thank you for that. Could you maybe do something else for us? Could you knock over one of those devices, either one? Make it fall over. Did you want you to roam these grounds, walk these grounds? Did you live here? Why is it that you're still here? Why are you trapped here? Did something bad happen to you? Are you lost? Do you like us to help you find your way? Could you 
please go into my hand as a ball of light on the camera. Show us an orb, fireman, as you as a full being. Mark's freezing. <clears throat> Might be a drop from the door, but what the hell? That light's just coming up on that. Even when that time out, it should stay on unless batteries died. I don't know what. I don't like that door, man. I don't like it. It feels weird, like I'm just going to grow up now or something. So guys, battery is completely drained on this K2 meter, so I'm going to have to change these. Um, what we believe is obviously if there's some sort of spiritual activity around these devices, energy, and they say it seems to drain the energy. That was completely drained a minute ago when I tried to, and then it's just alarmed. Oh, it's got half a bar, uh, two bars, half a battery. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah, so we believe that obviously spirits can drain energy from devices and obviously from us as well. There's been many times where at the end of the night, we've gone to bed feeling absolutely drained, starving, dehydrated. Just feel absolutely rubbish really. Freezing, mate. I don't know about you, but I'm freezing. <laughs> I'm freezing. Well, it's saying 13.3 degrees Celsius. Wow, well, cold. I'm pretty wrapped up as well. That's you making Mark cold. Could you take change the temperature on this device in my hand? Let's come closer to it. Make it colder. Is that a K2 meter down there? Yeah. I'm sure it lights just change on that. What I'm going to do is move this uh, red pod into that doorway. Six, eight, and go up in there. Could you set off that device I've just put into that doorway? All you need to do is go near it and it'll alarm for us. Come on, we mean you no harm. We just need this for our own peace of mind. We know that you are able to affect that device. We've seen it being affected before by a spirit. We know you exist. Could you maybe knock it over? That's right here in that room. That's what I mean, I don't like it, eh? I don't like that door at all. I don't like that door as well either. The device that is lit up now, on the floor, could you come into contact with that please? And touch the metal antenna that's coming out of it. That will alarm and alert us to your presence. Right guys, with a little success that we've had in the first building, we've decided to move on. Um, what we've discovered is um, there's like the tassels. That's the only way I can explain them. There's one there, one there, one there, and one there. Um, and they're like located in a circle um, shape and between it there's a really big circle like ground of grass so obviously it looks like somewhere where people used to fight or there's some events. sort of yeah, or like events or some sort of entertainment there because there's seats um, situated around the circle as well so obviously people can view whatsoever, whatever was happening in the middle of this so we're going to go to each tower we're going to get the REM pod and a few bits of uh, equipment out and see if we can get any sort of validation and we will be trying a few different spirit boxes at some point. But we do know that each one of these towers that were erected, um, each one of them is named after Thomas Wentworth's children. Uh, so hopefully we can get 
them come through Spirit Box or we get some EVPs and some really good stuff from these. Right guys, we have entered the first tower. So obviously we've got the camera set up on the outside. This is the doorway. We're going to sit in here now and try and get some validation for you all. So I'm going to use this REM pod, what we have. So I'm going to start by turning it on. I'm going to calibrate and then it will go off. I'm going to place it. I've got a windsaw then, do you reckon? Uh, I've got a Alright, so now it's on the windowsill. Our aim is to try and make that go off. If that goes off, that is some sort of validation for us. Is anybody here with us now? Can you've been watching us? Or you can hear us or anything? Could you please walk up to that device that I've just placed on the windowsill and make it alarm? If that goes off, we know that you are there and that you want to contact with us. I'm also going to place a K2 there as well. Good idea, Matthew. Um, I'm going to place this one as well. This is a digital one. Make sure it's on. Alright, so uh, that's on now, guys. <coughs> I know that this castle was built by Mr. Wentworth and each one of these towers was named after one of his children. This is correct. Is there any way that you could come in contact with any of those devices placed in front of me right now? Can you maybe make a bang or talk, whistle, do anything that is within your power to do this. We give you permission to use some of our energy if, if it is required. And give us some sort of validation that you're there. Tension's bouncing up a little bit. See them bouncing down. That's just how, how cold it is over there, isn't it? But yeah, meth. It's spirits of belief to carry. But you have to be close to it and run that alarm, so obviously. You don't want like meth mix around it at the moment. Could you maybe not like this? Could you do this? into one of our ears. Grab or touch one of us. Just something to validate your existence. The leaves on the ground, you could rustle those. If you do have any sort of memory whatsoever, You'll know that some of my friends from a team called Soul Reaper have once visited this place before. In, the, in each tower, on command, the devices was affected when asked. All requires for you to do the same for us. We don't mean you no harm at all. Maybe you feel a little bit intimidated that there's three of us here. If you want two of us to leave, please come into contact with the REM pod on the windowsill. Touch it, alarm it. If you do so, then two of us will leave and we'll return later on. Could you maybe knock one of the devices over at all? Either one. So we're going to try now is uh, I think two of us should leave. So we're going to leave Jason in here. Yeah, and uh, me and Matthew will have a little walk around grounds and uh, see if Jason can get any responses. Yeah. You happy with that? 
Yeah, well, you and I'll just walk. Yeah, we'll just walk around and just explore with us. Yeah. Right, they're, all, they're all the same, but just like, we're from Town to Town. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, see you shortly. See you shortly. Have fun. Hello. <laughs> Right, there's only me here now in this tower. I mean, you know how whatsoever. All I ask of you is for it to affect one of these devices for me right now, just while it's just me. The reason why you don't want to come come into contact with me? Are you scared of the devices? Is it something you're unfamiliar with? It is getting really cold in here behind me. And I can also see that the temperature has dropped significantly on the K2 meter. So if that's a sign that you're th there with me now, thank you for that. You please go to the device on the windowsill with the antenna on it and go as close to that antenna as possible for me please. Let me give you a demonstration. Go up to it like that. Slightly touch it. That will alarm and illuminate. Set it off for me. Prove that I'm not crazy. Prove that you do exist. I know you're there with us. I know you're there. Right, so the digital K2 meter is going up now in EMF. So that proves to me that there's some sort of EMF signal towards it. It is very weak. It's not going up enough for it to alarm. But it is going up slightly. That's the reason you're not able to make these devices go off. It's because you're weak. By all means, use some of the energy from our equipment. Use some energy from me. Do anything possible to make those devices alarm. I would really, really, really appreciate it if you could do that for me. Come on. Make the devices go off. Are you able to see? Is it too dark for you? Is that better? Maybe go up to the one in the middle and knock it over for me. Knock it completely over. If that's too hard, could you just go near the antenna and make it alarm? Come on, do this for me now. See, the reason you don't want to come into contact with me, you feel intimidated by me in any single way at all. Do you have a voice? Are you able to use that? Either so I can hear it, or speaking to the camera so we can hear it when we play the video back. really disappointed that you've not been able to do anything what I'm asking you to do. I'm not telling you, I'm not trying to boss you around in any way, shape or form. All I want you to do is a favour for me and make those devices go off. I have a piece of equipment with me that will give you a voice and it will enable you to communicate with me. 
you would like me to get that out and use that, just give me some sort of sign that that's what you want. Effect a device. Knock on the wall. Throw something at me. Push me over. Whistle. Anything possible. Right guys, it seems they're really quiet in this tower, so I think what I'm going to do is just try and get the other guys to come back over and then we'll move to a different tower and see if we can get any response from that. I do know that we have been able to get some sort of activity here before on the REM pods with the spirit box and other devices, so I'm going to do my best to make yeah. that happen. Right guys, um, we've just come to tower 2. That was obviously the first person in here, he's come in and something's touched him on the head. He doesn't know if it was some sort of bug or if it was something more. There's no, there's no bug in here. Can't say no. There's literally nothing in here at all. No, it was empty. So, we've got a K2 meter to one on this window sill. We've got the normal one there and also the REM pod. I'm just checking if the REM pod's working. Yep, so obviously if you come into it, contact, it's going to alarm and illuminate like that. If there's anybody with us right now, could you set either device off? Give us some sort of evidence that we require. If we're annoying you, you don't want us here. We need to know that. We're not able to know unless you give us some sort of sign. Is that you making that pain in my foot? Is there anyone here, and, you, and you're the person that's just touched me, could you do it again please? Could you touch me on the back of the head, or anywhere on my body? Just let me know that you're there. I'll touch any of us. If you need to, you can use some, or a bit some of my energy. Use some of mine too. And mine. Not all of it. Like a bank coming from one of the towers. No, it were a bank coming from one of the towers. If you're there, could you come on, come into contact with this device that I'm holding in my hand? If you just go near it, the screen will change colour and it will alarm, illuminate. Come forward, spirits, we mean you no harm. It's gonna call across my face, but I don't know if that will win. It's a bit of a danger, it's not to say like So the pain I was getting in my foot is now in my upper back. Same pain. It's like it's like a right fast shooting pain. It's weird. Is that you what's affecting me? Are you trying to maybe make me feel the way you felt before you died? This is right. Let's give us some sort of sign and set one of these devices off for us. In particular, I'd like to set that one off on point and it right now. Basically what that does, it's not harmful at all. All it is, is it makes a magnetic bubble around it. If something comes into that bubble and breaks it, it will automatically alarm. And it has a little light on the front which will illuminate. That's the only sort of way you can get into contact with us. Did you know Thomas Wentworth? Does that name ring a bell? Or any of Thomas's children that these towers were named after. 
Would you tell us the name of this tower? Maybe whisper into one of his ears. We're very open to contact the spirits. I don't know if this means that, but a word just popped into my head. Galloway. I don't know what it means myself, it just popped into my head, you know, when you asked what this tower was, so I don't know if that's some of what's made me think that word or what. You'll have to have a look up later. But if Galloway is meant, is there anything to do with this tower? Could you maybe just give us one little sign? I felt this device in my hand, if you could please. I honestly can't see it. If these are actually named after his children, I don't think any of his children will call Galloway, to be honest with you. <coughs> There's a lot of weird activity going off outside, isn't there? Uh, I keep an ear and stuff like that, but do you know what I would draw to? That tower, like, I like that. And when you all left me earlier, you were walking round, and you were taking cam pictures on camera, and it was just flashing out place, but I'm sure I've just seen that foot corner of the eye. Well, obviously, you are in here, so. Yeah. That static camera doesn't make a flash out, does it? No. No, it's for infrared, it? All you'll see is the lights, what you can see on that. But that's only when someone walks past it. Plus, it's facing the door anywhere down there, entrance. Uh, we're not going out in this tower here, so I think we should move on to the next one. Yep. Uh, we'll go round to each one, and then we'll find somewhere else to go. So we're now approaching the third tower. See if we can get any better look in this one. You are. Right. Yeah, they all look roughly the same size, but there's something different about each one of them. What I've noticed. Right, so try and get this as level as I can. Right, same protocol. Spirits of Wentworth Castle, if you are there now, you can hear me. Could you please walk into this tower and touch the device which is in front of me on the floor? All you need to do is touch it, that's all I ask. It's not going to hurt you. Come on, let's go up to it like that. Set it off. Show me that you can do this. It doesn't hurt, it doesn't cause you no harm at all. I understand there's a little boy in these grounds. If you're there, I just want to help you. want to be able to make you move on from this place and go to somewhere else which is more better. Come on, touch that device for us. Maybe if you are there, little boy, you'd like to play a game. So you can use that device for one beep for yes, two beep for no. So if you'd like to come into contact with it, just touch the device. Wait till that's been just been moving. Just like that. What are you for? Yeah. Could you make it move again for us? Could you let me knock it over? Come on, you might not be able to set it off. Kick it over for us. 
make it fall to the ground. Do that in front of us now, prove that you're there. Come on. Do it with the light off if you need to. Not asking for much. Simply knock it over. Was you ordered around to do things before? Is that why you don't want to, to respond to what we're asking you? Tap on the walls like this. Come on, give us the evidence that we require from you. Would you want us Thomas's children? If you were, could you come into contact with that device and touch it once for yes, twice for no? Maybe you'd like to play around in the leaves, knock them around. Again, that will alert us that you're there. If you would like me to get the device out, which is in my bag, which will give you a voice and help you to communicate with us. If you would require me to do that, please do something that we're asking you to do. Set off a device or not one over right now. Right, it's pretty clear that you're not able to do all for us. I'm disappointed in that really. There's no point in us being here if you're not going to do anything that we're asking you. Don't you like us? Let's move. Guys, we approached the fourth tower. Is this the fourth and final tower? Yep. Yep, this is the fourth and final tower. So, if we don't get anything in here, we're going to move on to some different devices, see if we can get anything else to interact with this. So, what's here? Now, the difference about this one, there's a fireplace inside it. None of the others had it. This leads me to believe that someone more important used to sit in this one. Right, what I'm going to do... I'm going to pull out our portal, see if we can communicate with you that way. That may energise this area and give you the energy you need to, to come into contact with the devices. Spirits of Wentworth Grounds, could you come forward and make contact with us? Did you used to visit this tower? Would you maybe have sat down in front of the fireplace for a warm when it was cold? You maybe show us the flames of the fire that they used to be. Show it on camera. Or affect the device that's placed in the fireplace or at the side of it. Right guys, so this is the plasma portal. As you can see, it has a plasma screen on this front, which is obviously voice activated. So it moves to the sound of your voice. This is believed to give the actual portal its energy for spirits to be able to communicate to us. So I'm going to turn it on now. One second. Right, here we are. It's just going to calibrate. Mr. Beast at... Very well... I can't... Oh, 
steals times until is there anyone there with us right now is Thomas with us it's quite interesting Tell us where the grounds are located, please. Who said? Could you tell us the person's name? 
built this premises. Um, in all... Thomas. Thomas what? What was Thomas second name? decided to turn this off as always it seems really quiet and it 
it seems like we've not picked anything up but it's been like that a lot of times and I've got back I've listened to it headphones on and there's been loads of validation but we've just not heard it with his ears when we've been here so I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put it away now and I, um, maybe try it again in a different location I think what it is sometimes uh, that uh, spirits do speak through the spirit box but we're asking certain questions so we're sort of only listening for that response that we're looking for and uh, Quite a lot of time, like Jason said, we've got home, we've looked through stuff, and there's actually been responses to other questions that we've asked previously. And uh, sometimes, like Jason said on that bit there, you know, the profanities he used, like spirits, they're not always good spirits that we get into contact with. But I mean, if there's profanities used, that there is validation that it's not on radio. You'll never hear swearing on a radio, so. No, no, no radio never station. Never come from box. No, no, definitely, there's no radio station around this area that. That uses that sort of language. I mean, there's not, there's no expert in these sort of things. We had a breakthrough by somebody called Frank, who made the original spirit box, and he called it Frank's box. And he only created it because his daughter died, and he wanted some way to get in communication with us. Um, and there was like speculation of some sort of connection between white noise and the other side. And obviously, with a spirit box. It works as a radio. When you scan through the channels, you twist it. That's where you get your white noise. So obviously it's put onto a permanent scan. So it's completely scanning all the time through different radio channels. And that's where you get the manipulation, obviously contact through it. But we don't know if we're speaking directly to spirits. We don't know if we're speaking to all the spirits. We don't know if we're speaking to spirits what's just at this place. We don't know if spirits are talking to each other or if they're talking to people who's watching this. All we know is that there's something else what you can communicate with through this box. We are quite fortunate as well that a lot of our fans do watch our videos and uh, they do get into contact with us using our Facebook page and let us know anything that they've heard, sort of picked up on. Then we'll also sweep back through that. We'll capture that in a small video and we'll also name that person as well. So if you do watch our videos, and you notice anything that we've not picked up, please don't hesitate to get into contact with us and just let us know. That would be absolutely fantastic if you would continue to do that, please. Yeah, um, I've this previous before, uh, where were we? We went to Fergaland. Yeah. Yeah, we went to a place called Fergaland Tunnels. Uh, we did get a lot of validation, but at one part of the video we got, we got an apparition which appears to move across the screen and sets off our REM pod device. Now, we've obviously seen the REM pod going off, we've noted that on the video, brought it out, one of our fans has noticed that there's actually some sort of entity or some apparition what walks past. So obviously, Mark's edited that, made a little video out of it and you can see that. And that is on YouTube to view right now. Right guys, we've come to the entrance again. This is the upper part. Um, we've set up a, um, a REM pod at that side. K2 meter in the front there, one and then there's one in Mark's hand. So we're going to try and get these to go off, as we've not been successful in doing so yet. Um, I do remember that Kyle Thompson of Soul Reaper came here before, and he got his REM pod to go off in each and every individual um, individual oh, tower. tower. Um, but obviously, Kyle's using a different REM pod to us. Uh, they are the same idea built more or less the same but for some reason at some locations it's easier to set one REM pod off and in other locations it's easier to set a different REM pod off so it is hit and miss what happens really if there's any spirits on these grounds or can hear me now please come in contact with one of those devices on the steps make it alarm for us You've not been strong enough to do this before. But I believe if you use some of our energy now, you will be able to set them off. Come on, do this for us. We'd really appreciate it. You've not been able to do it for us yet. We do need some sort of validation before we're going to leave this place. You know, with the amount of history 
there's still, still something lurking here. Many people must have come and gone at this place. Maybe someone accidentally fell from the top, committed suicide here. It's got over 300 years of history in this place. I'm sure numerous things have happened. I'm sure people have died here. Come on, set off one of the devices for us. I don't believe you can do it now. I did originally think you could. Now I don't. Keep going we... if you can. Sorry, the only way we're going to settle this is if you prove us wrong. Would you not like to show us that there's existence after we pass over? And that life does continue, even if it is a spirit form. We're here tonight to acknowledge you, to acknowledge your presence, to show the world that you are there. We just want to find out what happens. Come on, set off one of those devices. Come towards us, and set off one of these devices now. That's an order. So you're no good at taking orders either. That's fine. Maybe you're weak and afraid. Maybe there is nothing when you die. Maybe that's it. But could you maybe prove us wrong? Are you a coward? Are you scared of coming forward? I'm sure that if you lived in an area like this or a place like this, you would have had some sort of power. Maybe you didn't deserve that. Maybe you're weak, afraid. Zero power. Come forward and prove me wrong. So far you've not been able to prove us otherwise. If you can't set off these devices and it is beyond your power, beyond your being, do anything that you can actually do to give us a sign that you're there. No matter what it is, just do it now. Give us a sign that you are there with us. If you have to, show yourself on the camera. Yeah, that's what I said, something in the bottom of the corner at camera. It's sort of like illuminated a little bit. But no lights behind as well. No. On it, can you what lights up? Put them pod. Just get it to on. If you are able to show yourself into the camera, we're not going to know about it now. We're going to be long gone once we discover that. We'll have to look back on the footage and find why you've showed yourself. So if you don't want to contact us now, just give us that proof on the camera so we can look back and then you give us the, the proof that we require. If you're in one of these towers, that are behind me, to the side of me, could you make a noise for one of these? Maybe drop something from the top, inside, outside. Show yourself in there. Whistle, tap, bang, anything at all. Come on, we know you're able to do this. Thomas is there. Prove that you're there. I'm sure if you're as proud as you were and you were erected to this building, that obviously you want you wanted it to stay here, you wanted that history to remain. 
Show us that you're there. Show us that you remain. I don't build a monument like this for nothing. Obviously, you wanted your name to carry on. Obviously, if you had that much money to make something like this, it obviously comes with a lot of power. Has all that power gone now that you're not here? If any of it still remains, show us. Show us the power that you once had. She's really not convincing us at the moment. 